I'm Joanna Garzilli, award-winning author and life coach. Welcome to the Looking Glass podcast. I didn't know it was going to feel like this. I didn't know I was going to feel so icky and as if I'm on a crazy roller coaster. When I first had the intuition to do a podcast and I'm thinking, oh, the Joanna Garzilli show or maybe do something from my book, Big Miracles. And then when I got the download to do Looking Glass podcast, it just felt so right. It was a resounding yes. And if I'd known what was going to come up for me, what I was going to feel as I committed to this journey, maybe I wouldn't have done it. Or maybe I would because I'm a little bit of a glutton for punishment. And my husband turned to me today and he said, you love drama. And for a moment I wanted to say no, but I am being more and more honest with myself now. And I said, yes, I suppose I do. I do like creating drama. And I think my mom always used to say that I was a bit of a drama queen. So I was in the shower before and I just felt so overwhelmed. I felt sick to my stomach. I rarely feel nausea. But it was just this overwhelming feeling. And I remember Louise Hay, when she spoke in her book, You Can Heal Your Life. That was a really life-changing book for me many, many years ago. And she talks about how different things come up in the body, what they mean. And I remember the idea of when you feel sick, when you, you feel bleh, that that is... It's not being able to assimilate new energy. And so here I am with you and I'm self-reflecting and I'm inviting you to reflect with me. And and this is the thing that it, it is healing me. And sometimes going through the healing journey, it doesn't feel good. It's like when one has an injury... And as the body starts to recover, there can be more pain as the body does its work. And that's how I feel now. I feel so much intensity. So a little bit earlier today, one of my clients reached out to me and we did a session and I felt so clear. I could see for her probably the clearest I've ever been able to see and I felt really confident in that and it was beautiful and as I got to see for her and what spirit was showing it just gave confirmation for me and it was a really really good feeling and then I felt knocked out afterwards I was listening to I'm watching Matthew McConaughey just going back over some parts of it that I'd missed from The Art of Living. And then I also watched Marie Forleo too and her talking about her journey. Because I remember seeing her live at an event in Las Vegas many years ago, right when Dominic was born and, and where she is now. And then the thing she went through in between, everything, every cell in my being is screaming, Joanna, you need to leave your W2 job. And I go, oh my gosh, my father's going to be so disappointed. Now, if you, maybe if you're just listening to this for the first time or we don't know each other already, I'm 50 years old. I mean, 
oh my gosh, I'm 50. And I'm saying, what will my dad think? He's going to be so disappointed. And I mean, that's just talk about needing approval. And I don't know exactly what he he said to me recently. Just try and stick it out and just stick with things. But I think what's so hard for me is when Matthew McConaughey is talking about living a life of more. Yeah, I And he was talking about where have you lied to yourself? And where I have lied to myself is that I don't think I realized how hard it was going to be when Big Miracles was published by HarperCollins. I thought, oh, I got this whole team. It's going to be easy. And I didn't really enjoy the process. I mean, I had wanted to be published by them for 20 years. And then when I, when I got there and I had it, I think I was just so burned out. And I remember back then it was more, it was radio tours rather than podcast tours. And I did over a six week period, so many interviews. And I just, there was moments of it I enjoyed, but I I wasn't really happy. My book at that point, it came out on Valentine's Day. And I remember after I got the book deal and needing to write the book, there was a moment where my husband, Nick, was standing in the doorway and I said, I just don't want to do this. I can't write this book. I just can't do it. And he said, oh, well, so you're not going to do it then? And I said, of course I'm bloody going to do it. Of course I'm going to write the book. And then the way that I got through it is when I couldn't write, I would send him off to the coffee bean in Old Town Scottsdale to go and get me chai tea. There's so much sugar in it. So I would just load myself up with sugar and and then write. And I do, I feel I, I, that book was downloaded through me. It was beautiful. But my will, my, my demons, my beast, all my defects of character that would get in the way that I had to get past to be able to channel that book. And I feel now Spirit saying to me, Joanna, you, you said you wanted to not only go to the mirror and self-reflect, you wanted to go through the looking glass. And if you want to do that, well, you've got to show up fully. And now I'm here and I'm doing it. And I'm going to keep going. But it's just, it's just so hard. And then after I recorded the prior three episodes, when I said some of the things I said about my bosses and how I feel about my work and at, that, at the office. And then I thought, my gosh, well, I'm, I'm, now I'm burning a bridge I remember Napoleon Hill talked about that in in Think and Grow Rich, where when you burn your bridge, I mean, you just, you can't go back. And so I suppose when those episodes are released, I'm going to have to have quit my job, which means by the time that you listen to this episode, I will no longer be at that job. I'm going to be back fully recommitted to my brand because let me get back to the lie. That's what I was going to talk about. Was the lie I've told myself is that I've, oh, well, I'm, you know, I've helped as many people as I can help. I've written three books. I've been doing coaching for many, many, many years. And now I just need to be part of something bigger than me. But doing that in finance and I love finance it's awesome it, it's such a great field to be in but I didn't expect to do it in retirement planning and that doesn't excite me although I really appreciate what I've learned there and so I suppose the lie I've told myself is 
oh, I'm going to be really happy being in a job and I should be grateful that I get to drive my Tesla and go and I have a beautiful corner office. And I'm really fortunate because whenever when I watch Melanie Griffiths and Working Girl, and that's really, you know, obviously it's not in New York, it's in Phoenix. Why? My identity, I'm wrapping up my identity in a job title, in earning a certain amount of money, in wanting some form of approval, I suppose. That must be the lie that I... That I've been denying for myself. I have more thoughts on this, but I'm going to save them for next time. And I really appreciate you being here with me. I'm Joanna Garzilli, and I'm sending you lots and lots and lots and lots of love. If you enjoyed the episode, please subscribe and share this podcast and sign up for updates at joannagarzilli.com or looking-glass.me.